All right, hey, this is Jonathan over with a quick screencast. I just want to show you um, kind of what I did on Thursday night for the Think Tank um, using a new plugin called Craft. And what this plugin is, is um, basically it's Envision Apps plugin where um, works with Photoshop and Sketch App, um, primarily on the Mac. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to find out if it works on the PC as well for Photoshop since Sketch is a Mac app only um, and hopefully I can figure that out in the next little bit um, but what I want to show you is basically their plugin they have um, kind of three areas in Photoshop called type photos and duplicate and so what I'm gonna do is just show you um, some of these. So sometimes you might have a design, like this is just a PSD that I downloaded. Um, you might have a Photoshop file where uh, it's got some lorem ipsum and you want to actually use real words, real headlines and sentences that, that make sense. Um, so I can go ahead and click on these various headlines that I have here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and hit the content type and I'm just going to hit headline and then I'm going to choose um, advertising and of course because I don't have that font it's going to give me a font error which is okay and now it just changed all of my headlines to have to do with advertising okay. so real cool there and I'm going to go ahead and select um, you know the little excerpt from my blog post and I'm gonna do the content type again this time I'm gonna choose article I'm gonna choose advertising articles and it grabbed content and made advertising articles okay, really cool um, another thing we can do this blog doesn't have them let me open up another blog PSDs, PSDs. I want something that has certain content that I'm looking for. I think this one does. I don't need to create a library. Nope. This, okay, so this one kind of does. It has a little bit more. Um, so it has these dates, and I, I just wanted to show you kind of dynamically. I'm going to select all the dates that are here. And again, you're, you're making a prototype. I'm going to hit date, and we're just going to change this to month, day, year. And of course, it's going to give me that error because I don't have that font installed. And of course, because I don't have that font installed, the size is all whack. Um, oh, I missed this one. Um, but it converted those all to a date. Okay, so there's real live dates now. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, so, next thing I want to show you is the photos. So, I'm going to go ahead and just click these random. Uh, gray boxes that you know in your prototype sometimes you might show these off and you might you know want to send to a client and just say you know let me think of this design well right now there's no images in there so I want to show them images so I'm going to click on my photos now and I have some options I can do a folder I can search on my computer I can do a Dropbox link you know so if the client has some images uploaded I can do that and then I can also use this free service called Unsplash, which generates some images. Um, so I'm going to use that just for this example. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose from their categories, cafe. I'm going to do place photos. <coughs> it's going to go ahead and overlay photos masked in that box shape. So oh, I happen to have two of the same. So I can, if I want to, I can that photo and just redo that one okay 
so there put put those photos also here if I want to do something I can select all these boxes I can choose beach hit place photos and once it's done boom 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 there we go um, and let's say I wanted to use a folder so let's go ahead and do a folder here and I can go ahead and click through and hit folder I can search my computer so I'm going to go to a clients website so let's just look up client work and um, let's see I'm working on a project I know I have some photos so let me here we'll do go here folders in there. Sorry about that. Um, I think there should be folders in here. Gallery. Alright, so here's the gallery folder. I'm just going to go ahead and open. It's going to put in some random pictures now from that folder. There you go. So you can actually show real client work if you have them and it'll put them in those squares. It's a really nice tool, real simple to use. Um, so for the duplicate one now, let's um, so let's just go ahead and make a new blank document. Oop. It's from my clipboard. Let's choose a new blank document. We can duplicate this, and we'll add a little bit of space in there. And so now it makes a grid. And again, you can select those layers. And then if I want to add content, there you go, different photo gallery. Um, another thing you can do, let's say, um, you want to create, okay, so we'll just do this, and we can do names, right, so let's pull that out of that folder, and I'm going to select that, and hit names, and do both. Want to duplicate, and we just want to go down the line. Ten, ten names, and we want to have each of those be a different name now. So content names both. It's going to convert those to random names. It's a really cool, fast tool. Um, you can add various um, so let's say you had uh, even like a city so let's say San Francisco and we now want to duplicate that down and now we want to take that group and replace its content type with cities boom Real powerful tool. You know, you can take that content, convert it to headlines. Don't have to do with cooking. So if I want to format these things, you know, I'm making a prototype, I can do that. So it's a real simple tool called Craft. It's by Envision Labs. So if you go to labs.envisionapp.com/craft, you can find it and download it. Thanks.